ladies and gentlemen, tankers of Pitch of us to the channel. We'll be taking a look at this tank today, the Vickers Cruiser, Vickers CR, which I've unlocked on the stream a few days ago. And uh, it kind of made me think of this armored car, the, the Daimler Mark 1 or Mark 2. It's, if, you, if you just look at the turret, it resembles that tank. You just, I just decided to put that little bit of uh, historical information in there because the turret looks suitably British to me. The tank itself is suitably British as well. It has got a really good gun. It has hash round, cheap hash, 105 pen, APCR for standard ammo, heat shells, and it's basically the Centurion 7-1 with a heat gun but with a little bit less in terms of penetration on your APCR and on your heat. I think it's like, uh, what, what is it, 5 and 5? Yeah, 245 on um, APCR for the L7 short, which is on the Vickers Cruiser, 255 on the Centurion, and on heat you get 290 versus 300. So, but as I said, there's nothing shabby at all. I kind of flipped that shot on the T54E1 on uh, the engine deck, which I can penetrate with, with hash, make no mistake about that. And here's the 10 degrees, I've got a pressure uh, put to good use, going to shoot the T54E1 again. And this is actually a stream highlight, so if you are interested in, in streams uh, of me, do hit that sub subscribe button, click the bell, notification, and uh, you'll get notified when I have a new video out or a new stream coming up. Back to the figures, I think it's a really good tank. <laughs> I think it might actually be a little bit overcooked because I've seen screenshots of 1474 base XP games being only a second class medal currently. Yes, that's correct, a second class for 1474 base XP in tier 9. Why is this tank then, in my opinion, a little bit overcooked? Well. It basically has everything you need in a world of tanks place currently, which is DPM, mobility, and just uh, all round great firepower. You can see I've, I dodged a shot from uh, the uh, Scorpio G, switched to HE, shoot him again. I'm quickly moving away as well because I had already noticed that the waffle was in the back. And you can just relocate towards the other side of the map really quickly. It, it reminds me of, of the T92E1 being introduced early on in the game while I, tried to, I was trying to delete the shot on the waffle, hoping that he would move forward, but you see he did not, so we're gonna shoot him here, yes, thank you, there we go, 362 on the side, we've done 2k damage already, we've lost two tanks on our team as well, but apart from the little ramp on the scorpion, I did not lose any hit points. And after this game, we'll have a quick look at... Uh, at uh, the comparison between the Vickers CR, the T92E1, with both of the guns and the, the Batch at 25T AP. But it's fair to say that this is this is a really good tank. Wargaming have said in their advert, like any true light tank, the Vickers Cruiser does not have uh, armor. I beg to differ. It, it has got some armor. The front is only 76mm on, um, on paper. But it's angled backwards, so you can uh, you can get it up to like 200 in terms of effective thickness. Turret is 175, but it's again angled towards the side, the cheeks left and right, and you do have a gun method. And we're going to talk uh, a little bit about the side arm of the hull as well later on after this uh, video and after we've done the comparison, because there's a little just one thing. There's a bit of a theme with that side armor, and the, the, the theme is a number, and the number shall be one. There's one thing that's really important with a side armor while rolling around the chiefs in T95. Hello, hash up the air, thank you very much. And roll around uh, the pillars here on Hellas. Uh, we're going to try to uh, to get the kill on the E75. And if you've seen the stream already, <laughs> you know what's going to happen here. I have adrenaline running, gonna shoot him once. Here we go, 352, gonna shoot him again. I have no idea where this shot Penetrated to be honest, but that one hit, and then I'm going to reload three seconds, two seconds, and uh, 0.6. <laughs> it was a first class and a high caliber. Had I killed that E75, this would have been a sure mastery. And this was a first class with 13 on base XP, and as said, 1474 is now a second class. Um, let's compare the tanks. 
Let's hop into Blitz Stars. And we won't be hopping around here too long because uh, you can look up all these stats in, in the game. But what you can see with all these tier 9 the light tanks are knocking about you have the best dpm you have the best penetration on uh, the tank you have the best gun handling it's even better than the centurion mark 7 slash 1 and you do have light tank ammo rating except for this version that is uh, worse compared to the centurion uh, 7 slash 1 but it's far better than the uh, t92e1 with the big gun and yes that has 560 in terms of, uh, of firepower, both on, uh, or not both, on, on AP, so I have 490 on its heat, but your rate of fire is just way better. If, if he misses his shot, or might bounce, or catch you, you would catch it on the tracks, that means that you will be able to basically hit him three times and just punish him. And he's got a 152 millimeter gun. Make note of that, 152 millimeters. Um, in terms of movement and mobility, it's, uh, yeah, it is it's really good it's not the best one the t92e1 still is the best one but effective power to weight ratio is good it's that's that's a bit of the trade-off you have the brilliant gun and you have the worst mobility but the traverse is good the camo rating is good it's not as good as the budget but it's better than the t92e1 so all in all i think these tanks are really well tied in terms of performance the figures gets the gun gets the view range the Batchet, the T92 you want, they get the mobility. Remember what I said about the sidearm? I mean, I mean, this is the armor profile, this is the turret, space armor on the gun mantle, 76 on the front. But these, these sides, the sidearm is 51, and that's not a lot. And uh, the rear is 38, that's even worse, as you can see. But this sidearm is 51 millimeters. And if you have it angled like this, and you can angle it like this if you're just driving around and then jinking and juking left and right. You've got 51 in terms of uh, thickness. And that 51 means that you can't get overmatched by 152 millimeter guns. Because overmatching means that a gun three times uh, uh, the caliber of your armor will penetrate no matter what the angle is. That means that if this was 50 millimeters... 50 times 3 equals 150. That meant that a 152 millimeter gun would penetrate you anytime with AP, APCR, no matter what the angle was. But this is a 51 millimeter plate, and that means that the T92E1, um, an ISU 152, they can't penetrate you. A 155 can, but a 152 can't. And of course, these big guns will penetrate you on basically any spot of the tank um, if they aim properly and if the angles, if they have the angles correctly. But Godfishy from the Kudos Clan, who's in the Vickers CR, is gonna gonna show us uh, what this armor can do, and he's going to be a little bit lucky, of course, because you have to little have to have a little bit of luck in those uh, circumstances. But it's going to be uh, that that 51 millimeters of armor is going to be instrumental in this game i'm gonna gonna show you uh gonna show you what i mean with that first things first he spotted the waffle he's gonna shoot the waffle the waffle has a dead commander he is spotted but fishy is just sitting in this spot at alpenstadt and i i never quite went to this spot to be honest i found this one interesting because you can counter the snipers that are there hello he's still over there 407 not spotted because that wolf has a dead command and he's spotted now because of the uh, bad chat. And he's going to shoot him again because of the gun. It is, as I said, it is a brilliant gun. Trying to put some pressure on the T49. Shoot that one in the back with a hash round as well. And he's up to 1700 damage already within one minute of the game. This gun is glorious. Moving forward, APCR on the side of the T54E1. And they've basically won this flank. They've captured A. The T-54E1 is down. The Waffle is nearly dead. Just apart from just one shot needed. But they have to make pressure towards Cap C. Because that flank is going to fall. There's the Waffle. There was a Waffle. There's now an Axe Waffle. And Fishy is not in harm's way. You could start saying, well, you're just showing a game where, where it's... Enemy team is Muppets, and this is very easy, Martin. And just uh, this is uh, this is not epic gameplay. Well, just hold on to your horses. It's got to be just 
fine and dandy. Because the FE301 on his team is getting shot, and Fishy is uh, maneuvering around, setting up the tank, and shoot the IS-6, and then just track him in place. <laughs> and that's what happens. RNG is gonna, gonna rear his ugly hat. You get a few great shots on the Waffle. He could have shot that IS-6 in the butt, actually, with HE, but the shot is not available now. And then he's going to penetrate the rangefinder, I think, on the side of the turret of that Kampfpanzer Zipsig. Easily with APC on. That's a, that's a great weak spot. The tank is completely red when held on, except for that weak spot on the turret side. But you don't want to, want to mess with that big gun if he's looking at you. And then he's going to have this short track again <laughs> on the IS-6, which is unfortunate. RNG rearing his ugly hat. And then RNG giveth and take it and says, yes, you can penetrate and you will bounce on your tracks. 400 damage. Let the blocking fiesta begin. Uh, APCR through the front of the IS-6, no problem whatsoever, no questions asked, IS-6 is down. This is uh, this is looking looking good, I mean it's 2 versus 3, you should be able to uh, to clear a tank hopefully, shoot the Kampfpanzer again and it's now 1 versus 3. And you could start running away, that is of course a possibility. But Fishy shoots a heat shell on that FV, wasn't needed but he was aiming for the Kampfpanzer, which is annoying because he got a max roll on the... <laughs> on the heat, and if he had shot APCR, he would have killed that FE301 already. Not going to happen. Uh, here's another shot, yeah, that one hits, that's 225 from the T49, that one did not penetrate, gonna shoot the T49 again, yes, he needs to clear a tank now, he's getting low on hit points, just roll back, roll back, roll back, yes, T49 is down, and there's a shot, that's what I meant. He turned his tank just in time for that Kampfpanzer to shoot his drive wheel or maybe even the side of the hull. And that meant that the Kampfpanzer bounced because that has a 152mm gun and the side armor of Fishy is 51 and he's going to clear the FV301 with the last shot. He would have been able to survive just one more shot from that FV. But a great little game here in the Ficus Cruiser, 5,660 damage dealt and a steel wall in a light tank. Because like a true light tank, this tank has no armor. Thank you very much buddy for sending this one in to me. I hope you've enjoyed this review. Ladies and gentlemen, tankers of this universe. My name is Martin Doger. I'll catch you all tomorrow. Cheers. Happy tanking.